so I know you. You're one of these people, one of these couples, that borrowed the tent. Yeah, you borrowed the tent. Five, six, ten years ago. That wasn't much fun. I understand at this point, though, because this, this is how it goes. You've got the urge to do something. You don't want to camp. You don't want to borrow the tent. You're thinking about maybe getting in something a little bit more like a home and going someplace. I mean, don't deny it. We all get that way from time to time. And I know what you're thinking. Those damn things cost too much. Well, you know, who has? Well, some people do, but who really has several hundred thousand dollars to go buy a motorhome? And, you know, the other part of it is you're thinking about that lake house. Yeah, you and I both know that lake house is just sitting on muddy, rock, outcropped land. The only thing growing there is poison ivy. Walk down that hill to the place where a boat is. I wouldn't necessarily call it a marina. Eh, it's not worth it. It's not worth it. I wouldn't do that. Thinking about, hey, my kid's 15. It's time to start planning for college. Well, if your kid's 15, you missed the boat on planning for college anyway. And frankly, you ought to let them do it themselves. I mean, heck, it's all going to be free in a few months anyway. So... Forget that. I say, spend a little bit of money. Try it out. Spend it on yourself. Because retirement, well, heck, what good is retirement? You'll just end up being bored. If you're going to retire, even after this college business, you want to do something still. Maybe it's Drive around the country. See the parts of the country that you haven't seen. Because, you know, you know it as well as I do. Again, you haven't been hardly anywhere. So, yeah, let's think about the motorhome. And let's think about a motorhome like this. Because this is an excellent coach to start exploring in. Now, this coach is a beautiful 2013 Thor it's only got 32,000 miles on it. It's a Class C. It's in very good shape. And I'll tell you, this coach, it's only $59,990. Pay us $60,000, though. We'll give you $10 worth of Cheetos. Take a look at this. It has a bunk up here. You can put your kids up here. You can put two of them up here. You can get up here if you want to. It comes with a piece that goes here to make it an actual bed. It's got a ladder. You're all good to go. Up front, you got a Ford E450. Basically, it is a van front end with a van cockpit. But once you get up out of your chair after your drive and walk back into your coach, this is what you get. You get a beautiful couch that's actually very, very comfortable. And it's a jackknife. So if you pull up on this, it'll flatten out and give you another nice little twin bed here. Over here, you've got a full-size bed when you're not eating on it. This folds down so that you have a platform here to make out another bed. So, hey, small bed, medium bed, big bed, and there's a bedroom. You can haul all kinds of people in this coach, and it's not huge. It's easy to drive. It's inexpensive. It's pretty. It's the thing you need to think about right now. Let's take a look at more. Let's go to the kitchen. In the kitchen, we have a dual sink, which is very, very nice, fairly deep. You've got a three burner stove, got a beautiful little oven. You have a microwave as well. Everything, all the comforts, literally, of home. Come on back. Here's your refrigerator. This is a beautiful refrigerator. It includes a freezer, which is always nice, as well as the refrigerator area. Runs on gas or electric. This is the bedroom. Nice, pretty good size area for a bed. You got a queen size bed here and room to put your clothes in the wardrobe closets over here, as well as a place where if you decide you want to, you can put a TV right there so that you can lounge and watch your favorite shows. 
This is the bathroom, water closet as it were. If you take a look in here, you'll see you have a toilet, sink, and a pretty good size shower. Yes, even the biggest of us can fit in that shower. It's decent sized, gives you plenty of room and a nice big skylight to help lighten up your day. Let's run outside real quick and take a look at what this coach looks like on the outside. This is the outside of this coach. As you can see, it's got a nice big slide out, which is what makes your inside big enough to really call a home. Let's go around on this side, we'll take a look. This is the Thor Freedom Elite. Take a look. It's in extremely good shape. The tires have a lot of tread on them. You've also got an awning out here that you can pull out, which we don't have out right now, so that you can have sun-free areas with which to rollick in your experience outside in the woods and the campground. And then you just go inside and, you know, be inside in a nice place instead of that stupid little tent. This is on the lot. It probably won't be here long because it, I think I've said this before, it's only 59,990 or 60,000 with the Cheetos. It's gone through painstakingly by our RV techs. We make sure everything works. It's ready to go. You need to come on down here and take a look at it because if you do, you'll buy it and you'll drive off with it and you'll love it. Come see me. My name is Jeff down here at Transwest RV in Belton, Missouri, which is a beautiful sunny suburb of Kansas City. I look forward to seeing you just as soon as possible because like I said, it won't be here long and you need to do something with your life. Thanks.